Good morning. This is Always Creative Design, and today we get the luck of working on this single engine modified tractor. So, and this tractor hasn't run in, I think, two years? Two years. It's been sitting outside. So, uh, Monday, it is Wednesday now, so this is the third day working on it. I came out and started fiddling around. We ended up getting a new battery because the batteries that were in it were, of course, fried. I just went over, checked the fuel. There's a minor leak right here. It's coming out of this plug thing. I don't know what's going on with it. It wiggles, but. You know, I don't know about most of the carburetors, so not sure what it does. Anyways, it's uh, leaking a little bit. Everything else, I got the uh, ignition wires tied up out of the way. I got the major fuel leaks all figured out. This was leaking like a sieve, but get a little hose clamp, fix that. The tractor is in neutral. We have fuel. And I guess it's time. Oh, I filled it up with water. Put some oil in the valve covers. It's, uh, it's time to start her up. Or at least, you know, see what happens. Got the main power. Okay, let's try it out. Juice. It's trying to do something. It's trying to do something. I'll just hook up this battery charger and I'll be right back. <laughs> Thought I would have started by now, to be honest. I guess we will uh, find out. The little backfire, so I think it's got spark. Just uh, it's not turning over the fastest. And I can bump up the charger a little bit. I don't want to be too hard on that battery, but we'll uh, let's see what's going on. Yeah, so look at it, it's just, it's pouring in.
fingers. So this is day seven of working on uh, this single engine modified tractor. Uh, got a Ford Gas 460 uh, engine in it. Definitely modified, but also, you know, fairly stock. Let's just say it's had a lot of issues. But you know that's that's the fun of it. So so far we've run into fuel delivery issues, uh, timing issues, um, wiring in general issues. Um, also been uh, oh what else? What did I say timing electrical. Fuel. Oh, starter issues. The starter was no good. Now the other starter that we have, the stock Ford starter, doesn't fit for some reason. It's hitting the uh, the ring gear. So uh, that's what we're working on now. So you guys will have seen. I just took the starter out. We're gonna add some washers just for now, before until we can get a more proper fix. Uh, and hopefully the engine, when we rotate it, won't hit the, uh, the gear, starter gear anymore. And then after that, we'll, uh, we'll try and start it. Because that's what we're here to do. I, uh, also forgot to mention, so, the other starter that was on here originally, I'm not sure what happened entirely, but you can see it got banged in over here, right? Well, because of that, it moved this side of this plate, and it moved it over. So when we got a stock Ford starter, uh, it didn't fit. So, you know, it took me about six tries to get the starter to go in, grinding this, trying it grinding all this edge because it wouldn't wouldn't rotate to get this bolt the bolt and down there so that was fun yeah and right now we're having an issue with this is too far forward to the engine like this way towards you um, or the starter is too far back I'm not sure exactly which is what uh, but the starter does not fit that's that's the thing so we're gonna put some washers uh, on the little ears there I'm gonna see if it clears then if that clears then hopefully we'll be able to make some type of plate system that will make the starter you know more stable in there and so I was just noticing here I was carrying the starter I was gonna bolt it on but as you can tell there's definitely some grinding going on some of this could have been me grinding that plate and it's gone gone like flung in here um, so I'm just going to try and wipe that out the best I can. Uh, could also been like the teeth grinding on the wheel a little bit. So just try and clean that up. You don't want to prematurely kill the starter. I'm not sure you can see in there, but we're still, we've still got some metal flakes and stuff. So let's see if I can. Maybe get this, like this, poke it through. That's better, a lot better. better still a little bit in there I'm gonna keep wiping then I'm gonna put a little bit of grease back in just like it was well as you see I've already made a giant mess taking a uh, cap off grease but I'm just going to uh, just put 
pretty good. Let's gonna see if I can. Not sure exactly what I'm doing, but there was grease in here before, so I'm gonna put grease here again. Uh, that's good. Just my hands here a little bit, and it'll be uh, good to check whether or not my washes will work. And you're good to go. See, so I did these two washers. They're pretty much the same. The same thickness within four thousandths. So they're, uh, they're good to go. Let's see if they fit here. Right, looks like that has got clearance. Looks like that has got clearance. Relatively big, so they got a lot area to push on. I almost like to get something a little bigger, but for only a few starts, hopefully this doesn't come, become something permanent. Yeah, so doesn't look decent. Then give it a try. So putting in the starter, I'm not gonna film the whole thing, but I start the top bolt, which hangs here. There's a negative that grounds it and then I go underneath and I do the other one because it's harder to get at and I can't you know hold everything all at the same time so let's uh, see that next yeah so underneath here the goal is take this washer sandwich it between starter and this plate and then put the bolt through well I'm in but uh, yeah it's gonna be a bit of wiggling and jiggling so I'll get back okay so I've got the starter in now I'm gonna rotate the motor and see um, if there's any interference with the starter. So here's zero. I'm gonna bring that all the way around. Okay. So I didn't hear, I heard some things, but nothing major. So I'm going to um, make sure the ignition off. I just turn over the motor and see if I hear anything weird. I'm just going to go over the setup we got right now. Um, so here's the ignition coil. Um, um, this is a ready to run system. So the pickup is inside the uh, distributor. And it has three wires that come out. And then it's got a ground that comes over here. A I'm pretty sure this is signal and power. Um, this gives power. Onto the coil, it powers everything. A little bit different 
Uh, apparently, not that I would know, because, you know, I don't work on these things all the time. And so then that all comes over here. Up into the switch. And then this switch is um, the ignition on off. This, is, of course, is all temporary right now because, like I said, there's some confusing things with the wire. And, you know, we, we didn't build this from the ground up. So um, there's just some things it's hard to understand. And sometimes it's easier just to do, like, a quick, um, simple, you know, switch or, or something like that. And that makes it, the whole process just simple and easier. That way you know what you are doing, not that... Um, what the other person was doing. Not that what they were doing was wrong at all, just um, sometimes it's just easier to restart, especially with wiring. So this is the ignition, then for the starter, um, I don't have the power cable on right the second, but power goes from there. There, there is ground power up to the solenoid because we need this as well because the other uh, starter had its own solenoid as I explained. So this, of course, is temporary as well. We'll have a permanent mounting point later. And then it has its own uh, ground. This just goes to the chassis. And then this is signal. And of course, on the other side, there is power from the batteries. So, and that goes there. And then here is, this is mostly original. This is the uh, start switch. You just hit with your foot. So that's that. Everything looks to be in order. We're just gonna take off the, the hats there and uh, we'll see uh, if it turns over without any weird sounds. Don't try and start it. and stuff off so nothing rattles like crazy and uh, we get to it. So here's uh, without the ignition. <laughs> Sounded like the gear went back into me. Uh, Kind of hard to tell. I heard it kind of at the end, sound like the gear went back in. I guess I can turn the motor over and see if it's stuck. Because it always went out, but then it always came back in. Gear turn over, nothing's off. It's like it's just there, but it's off. That's why I didn't fire. Where am I? And there. Yeah. So I heard it click, but it just went back in. So should be good. Now we'll try and uh, start it. So that we're not killing the batteries while we're starting it. Okay, so now I'm going to turn on the 
transmission. Ran. Wow, a lot of the junk is flying out. But uh, that was good. It was actually like idling, which is wild. So that means it was like pulling fuel in and everything was good. Front float bowl still looks weird. Can't exactly see. I don't know if I think it's like run out of fuel at the end, but yeah, I gave it a shot and then a bunch of junk came flying out. But uh, man, decent, decent. Oh, I got a bunch of gunk in my air now, but that. Uh, wasn't too shabby. There's a bunch of rust and stuff flying out. But that's could definitely be uh, be part of these exhausts. They need to be welded back up. Especially you can see this one. It's got major cracks in it so I bet there's a bunch of Rust just sitting in there. Firing, that one's firing, 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 firing. And it didn't sound like it was missing anything. Firing, 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 firing. Yeah. Wow. Crazy. And it like idled. That blows my mind. Gotta be honest. <laughs> but, uh, okay. Whew. Yeah, a lot of stuff running out. So, I mean, honestly, now it's just time to take the exhausts off. I mean, it revved up and then it died. So, I figure that's the fuel delivery issue. We're gonna have to go through the carburetor for sure. Um, I might get uh, my dad out. He he knows a lot more about this stuff. But yeah.